there. This is Marissa Gagne, the Civil Infrastructure Practice Manager at CAD Microsystems. In this video, we are going to discuss the compatibility of Civil 3D drawings with other versions of Civil 3D. The first and most important thing to understand when you're working with these Civil 3D file formats is the fact that the Civil 3D DWG is not necessarily equal to the AutoCAD DWG. Now, of course, you are still working with an AutoCAD DWG, that is your file that you're saving, but because of the intelligence of the objects that are saved in that DWG, the versioning is not necessarily the same. Because as the intelligence of civil 3D objects grows, the backward compatibility of those objects actually decreases. And those objects often grow per each release or per every, every few releases. So let's take a look at a chart that illustrates this. Most people are familiar with the AutoCAD DWG versions and their compatibility with each other. So here's a little illustration that if you have a version, the version column is there on the left, that you can see the DWGs there that are listed. So of course the 2010 DWG there at the bottom is used in 2010, 11, and 12. The 2013 DWG is used in 2013 all the way up to 2017, and then they released the 2018 DWG, which is used by 2018 and 2019. The great thing about these DWG versions is that at any time you can use the Save As command and save backwards. This is true of AutoCAD. However, when you get into Civil 3D and you start using Civil 3D intelligent objects such as surfaces and alignments and profiles, this backwards compatibility chart looks very different. So let's take a look at that. Now the great thing is that the first line is pretty much the same. The red lines that are going to show up are the ones that represent the cutoffs for Civil 3D. The first line is the same, so a Civil 3D drawing created in 2019 can also be used in 2018. They're based sort of on the Civil 3D 2018 objects and of course on the AutoCAD 2018 DWG. However, when we go to 2017, this one's sort of locked in place. Now, even though it uses a 2013 DWG just like 16, 15, 14, and 13, the objects are more intelligent than those previous versions, so they cannot be used backwards, okay? So as you can see, there's a big red line between 2017 and 2016 where civil 3D objects are concerned. Then there's a pretty decent jump, and it matches the next line here, where the 2013 DWG and the civil 3D 2013 objects can be used by 2013, 14, 15, and 16. So all four of those versions can share Civil 3D drawings with each other. However, there is then that line that you can't share backwards from 2013 to get to 2012. The lines then, when you start to go even further backwards, get even more frequent and it actually corresponds to every release because in the beginning of Civil 3D's development, those objects really were maturing and growing with every release. So with 2012, even though it is still the same 2010 DWG, the Civil 3D objects are sort of a 2012 version. 2011 is the same way, again a 2010 DWG, but an 11 version, and 10 is the same. Again. Even though the DWG format itself might be what's listed here, 2010, 2013, 2018, it's the civil 3D object intelligence that really matters. And those objects have grown, as you can see, they, they grew actually starting back with civil 3D all the way in the 2005 release. At each year, they got more and more intelligent. Once they hit 2013, they sort of stayed where they were until the release of 2017, and that's where another cutoff is. They grew again in 2018, and now this is where we are, is that the 2018 and 2019 can use the same civil 3D object types. It's also important to remember that you cannot just use a save as with civil 3D, because these objects cannot be saved back to the previous version of the civil 3D objects.
So let's take a look at some key points, some key takeaways. First of all, it's very important for all of the users on one project to use the same version. So you want to think ahead, agree ahead of time, okay, we're going to put this project on Civil 3D 2018 or Civil 3D 2017, and you're going to make sure that everybody on that project is using the same version because if someone uses a newer version and they hit save on a file, then others that are using the previous versions will no longer be able to use it because, again, saving back does not work. There is no way to go backwards with a fully intelligent Civil 3D drawing. Your only option for going backwards is what's called an export Civil 3D drawing. This is actually going to strip it down and turn it into a basic AutoCAD drawing. It's going to remove all of the intelligence from the objects. It's going to strip out all of those fun Civil 3D styles and settings and take it down to a basic DWG. And when that is done during that process, you do have the ability to choose a previous version, even all the way back to R14. All right, so again, remember, while you can absolutely save back with basic AutoCAD drawings, Civil 3D is a different story, and the intelligent objects are really the key there. Now, if you are working in a Civil 3D environment, but you're only working with AutoCAD tools in that environment, you can absolutely still do a save back. The issue comes when you start using and inserting and working with the intelligent objects in Civil 3D. So thank you very much for joining us for this video. We hope it was helpful to you.